This world's a treasure. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. Your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. You're the best pilot we ever had. Get out there and save the world. Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? To our galaxy. Here we go. So this film comes at a time uh, in the middle of the sixth mass extinction that we've had on this planet, and that mass extinction is based on the loss of diversity that we find in ecosystems all around the globe. Uh, everything from our closest relatives, the non-human primates, which mostly live in rainforest, and the rainforests are disappearing. Frogs and salamanders are disappearing at an alarming rate. Uh, birds are another example. Honeybees, uh, they sting us. Who needs honeybees? Right? Uh, it turns out honeybees are the major pollinator of most of our food crops. And we lose honeybees and all of a sudden plants can't reproduce. Take a small brick out of that house and the whole house comes down. We're not meant to save the world. We're meant to leave it. In the Milky Way, the galaxy that we're a part of, uh, many people have made estimates of the number of Earth-like planets that would exist in a habitable zone around the star they exist in. And those numbers range from uh, 25 billion to 10 billion. So the probability of having uh, a, a planet that could be, um, could harbor life as we understand it uh, is high. Uh, the probability of life being on that planet is a, is a different question, and I don't think we have a good feeling of what the probability of that would be. The difficulty is getting there, which we don't have the technology currently to do, uh, but it's certainly fun to speculate in a sort of science fiction way how we might be able to do that. From what we know now, if you extrapolate where we're going, you could say that in as, as, as little as 10 years, we could know whether or not we're alone in the universe, whether or not there are other living systems. That, that's an exciting prospect. Not clear necessarily that we'll find whether or not that's intelligent life or not. That's, uh, that's maybe a lower uh, probability. Uh, but that's also possible. You might have to decide between seeing your children again and the future of the human race. The challenge for humans now is to try to understand what's happening to our planet and try to find ways of making adjustments. You know, we, we are causing this great mass extinction. And uh, they're, like all things, there are good things that can come from that and there are bad things that can come from that. And we need to understand and be able to predict as well as we can what those events might be and which ones are really going to be catastrophic that we need to avoid. That's partly why this point in history is so interesting but also so critical to being aware and sensitive to the changes that we're making on our planet. That's why this movie is important, I think, in many ways. We'll find a way.